hello guys welcome to another video of what is in this video we are going to discuss uh, a13 bionic chip from apple so what is a13 bionic on september the 10th apple announced iphone 11 iphone 11 pro and iphone 11 pro max the devices have many features but the most interesting feature was the new a13 bionic system on a chip or so-called SOC which Apple claims that the new iPhones have the fastest CPU and the GPU of any smartphone. So in the new A13 Bionic, Apple has focused mainly on the power efficiency. So devices can have a longer battery life. A13 Bionic is a successor of last year's A12 Bionic. Last year, A12 Bionic was ahead of Snapdragon 855 in terms of performance. According to Apple, A12 Bionic is at least two years ahead of other Android smartphones in the race of fast processor. After all, what is new in A13 Bionic that makes iPhone so powerful? This A13 Bionic uses second generation 7 nanometer process technology. It is not just the process and the transistors behind it, although the company has used four CPU cores for day-to-day -day tasks. That is also important. Specific parts of the chips are used for specific tasks. So, so the A13 Bionic CPU features two high-performance cores with 20% faster performance and 30% lower power requirements than the previous generation of A12 four high efficiency cores which are 20 percent faster and requires 40 percent less power apple said that these cores are capable of performing more than one trillion operations per second similarly changes were made to the a13 bionics gpu apple said it was optimized for the metal framework it has four cores which offers 20% faster performance and requires 40% less power than its predecessor, A12. Both the CPU and GPU are complemented by a new neural engine made specifically for machine learning. Apple said this part of the chip has eight cores, which are 20% faster and needs 50% less power than A12. Apple has achieved this with its second generation 7 nanometer process, which is its first to use extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. This new process resulted in a greater transistor count and the increased density, which led to a higher performance, as well as the changes to the chip's power requirements. Those changes are set to add one hour of battery life to the iPhone 11 compared to the iPhone XR. The iPhone 11 Pro is rated to last four hours more than iPhone XS. And iPhone 11 Pro Max will have five hours of extra battery life than the iPhone XX Max, the previous generation. Well, I would not be surprised that the A13 Bionic chip will reach to new iPad models in the coming months. A12 Bionic had a similar release path that it debuted in iPhone XS last year before it reached the updated iPad Mini and iPad Air earlier this year. So Apple released the A12X Bionic with the iPad Pro in the, two, in the year 2018. So it's possible that the variant of A13 Bionic chips is set to debut with the companies, refreshes the line of iPads, iPad minis. Thank you very much guys for watching our video. If you have liked the video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.